Hello friend, welcome to second part of this video tutorial. In first part of this video tutorial, I show you how to change the host name of your Cisco switch, how to set the enable password to your Cisco switch, how to create a VLAN in real Cisco switch and how you can assign the IP address and interface to the VLAN. Also, I show you how to enable the intra VLAN routing. We will continue the same setup and in this second video, I show you how to configure the DHCP server for your VLAN so your end devices will get the IP address automatically. Also, I show you how to exclude some IP address so that will not assign automatically to your PCs. So let's start it. The first command I will type here is enable and I set the enable password in last video that is Cisco. I type my password Cisco here exit. To see the switch configuration, I type command show run enter and here is it. Here you can see my interface assigned to VLAN, the first 10 interface assigned to VLAN 10 and next 10 interface assigned to VLAN 20 that we did in last video and the next 10 interface assigned to VLAN 30. So our old configurations are there also we assign the IP address to each VLAN and here you can see that is 10.10.10.1 for VLAN 10, 10.10.20.1 for VLAN 20 and 10.10.30.1 for VLAN 30. Now in this video tutorial I am going to create the DHCP server for VLAN 10, 20 and 30. So your end devices will get IP automatically. So first I will go to privilege mode with command config t. The first command I type here is IP DHCP pool and here I need to give the pool name or pool number. You press the question mark here and he can ask you the word or the name. I create this DHCP pool for VLAN 10. So I will give the name 10. You can give any name for, for example, for local or for Wi-Fi or anything. For me, I just give the VLAN number here. Next, I need to define the network for VLAN 10. That is 10.10.10.0 slash 24, the full subnet. And next, I need to define the gateway or the default route for this network. That is 10.10 dot 10 dot 1 this is the same IP that we give to VLAN 10 here is it so you have to give the same IP that you give to VLAN number that is your gateway enter and exit that's it now same thing I need to do for the VLAN 20 IP IP DHCP pool and 20. I define the network for VLAN 20 that is 10.10.20.0 slash 24 the full subnet and the default route that is 10.10.20.1 the IP address of VLAN 20. Exit. Same thing for VLAN 30. I type command DHCP pool. 30 and define the network 10.10.30.0 slash 24 and the default route is 10.10.30.1 and exit. So here is it. We create the three DHCP server one for the VLAN 10, next for VLAN 20, and next for VLAN 30. Now what I want. I want to exclude some IP address from this DHCP server. I don't want to assign automatically because I want to give this address to my fixed devices, for example, attendance machine in our company or the printer or scanner or any other device. You want to assign the static IP, you can use that IP. To exclude some IP address from DHCP pool, you need to type the command IP DHCP exclude address. And if you put the question mark here, you can see it will ask the low IP address like from where to where. So I say 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 the first IP address 
and if I put the question mark again, the height. So till where you don't want to assign. So I said 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 10. For example, I want to reserve first 10 IP address. So I will type 10 here and enter. That's it. So my DHCP server for VLAN 10 will not assign the first 10 IP address automatically. Same thing I will do for DHCP server VLAN 20. 10.10.20.1 and 10.10.20.10. I press the upper arrow and the last one will come and I just change the network IP here 30 30.10. So I reserve the first 10 IP in each VLAN and they will not assign automatically. That's it. Exit here. And the most important thing is to save the setting because right now the switch is working if we did not save this setting and someone reboot the switch we lost our current configuration so to save your configuration you need to type the command copy running config and it will save to your startup config enter it will ask the destination file is startup config i say yes enter again that's it now this all configuration is saved to my startup config file that's it. Now I'm going to I show you it's working. I'm going to connect this CAT6 cable, the first 10 port of this switch that belong to VLAN 10 and the second end of the cable I will connect to this laptop. Same thing I will do for my second laptop. I will connect this cable to next 10 port of this switch and the second end I connect to my this laptop. This laptop don't have built-in LAN card, so I use this converter. I want to make sure this laptop don't have any static IP, so I will go to the LAN card first. Ethernet LAN card. Go to the properties and remove the static IP and make it as a DHCP because we create the DHCP server for each VLAN and this laptop should receive the IP from DHCP server. Same thing I will do to my second laptop. Now I will go to the LAN card of my second laptop. We go to the properties and we will remove the static IP. Okay. That's it. Now if I go to my laptop LAN card and go to the detail, here is it. The DHCP mode is enabled, yes, and he received the IP address 10.10.10.11. Why he received dot 11? Because the first 10 address we reserve and we don't want our DHCP pool to allocate to anyone. So he got the next available IP that is dot 11. Now same thing I will check in my VLAN 20 laptop. Now same thing I will check my other laptop that connect to my VLAN 20 DHCP pool. I will go to details and here is it. Now here you can see the DHCP service is enabled in this laptop and the IP address is 10.10.20.1. So my both DHCP server is configured properly and they assign the IP address to the end device automatically. Now if I try to ping from VLAN 20 to VLAN 10, I go to the command pro and I type ping 10.10.20. 10.11 this is my VLAN 10 laptop IP and enter yes I successfully ping from VLAN 20 to VLAN 10 same thing I will check to my other laptop also I type on ping 10.10.20.11 this is my VLAN 20 laptop IP and that's it. Here you can see I successfully create the DHCP pool in my Cisco switch and I successfully exclude the first 10 IP address from DHCP server and my laptop receive the IP automatically from DHCP server and they can ping to each other. Thank you for watching my video and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Please visit my channel and watch other informative video. Thank you.